The Avatar universe has an animal kingdom full of some magnificent beasts. And some mediocre ones. Would you like the one-headed fish or the two-headed fish? How do they all rank on a scale from A through F? Who's an awesome possum? Who's a fish out of water? And find out who's Safari Supreme. Let's kick off with the elephant in the room. Elephant Koi, that is. That's why we're here. Elephant Koi. These giant creatures appear to be pretty fun to ride. Avatar Aang would even bring his son Tenzin to recreate these moments in the future. What about the time he took us to Kiyoshi Island to ride the elephant koi? For better or for worse, they also appear to be a tasty delicacy. No, not just for bigger sea creatures. For your dining pleasure, I present a seared wild Kiyoshi elephant koi. For the surf and turf appeal, we're considering elephant koi some cool cats. Next up, it's time for a fan favorite, Sky Bison. A Sky Bison is a companion for life. These massively loyal giants aren't afraid to knock around anyone who messes with them. Or their companions. Not to mention, Sky Bison have mastered land and air travel, which makes for quite the sky-high advantage. He's flying! Katari, he's... I mean, big deal, he's flying. They're said to be the original airbenders. For all those reasons and more, we're considering these animals among the Safari Supreme. Next up is... Sokka, you've got an elbow leech. Where? Where? Where do you think? These parasites might have some medical properties or something, but it seems like they mostly just suck, literally, which is why they get an F for fish out of water. This next entry is much more appealing. I admit it, you're cute. The saber-tooth moose lion appears to have a strong nurturing instinct. Hey, it looks like my karma's already paying off. Those nurturing instincts get pretty dangerous once they grow to full size. What you doing out here, little guy? Did you lose your mama? Because of their adorable and ferocious vibes, plus their powerfully protective nature, we'll consider these among the big fish in this animal kingdom. Hey mom, want to see how Azula feeds turtle ducks? Zuko! Yikes! Speaking of motherly instincts, turtle ducks are another creature who appear adorable but won't hesitate to defend their young. Stupid turtle duck! Why'd you do that? Zuko, that's what moms are like. If you mess with their babies, hum, they're gonna <laughs> bite you back. For their protective tendencies, we'll consider these adorable little creatures one-trick ponies. Penguin! Continuing this course on cuteness are the beloved otter penguins. These creatures were basically the first thing on Aang's mind after being frozen for a hundred years. Will you go penguin sledding with me? Uh, sure. Not only do they make super fun travel tools, but they can be trained to perform. Let's have some fun with Wacky Wushu's dancing otter penguins. The sheer joy that these creatures bring to others definitely makes them some cool cats. needs a metal bender. We got Naga! Yeah! Did you know Avatar Korra was the only person in her generation to domesticate a polar bear dog? Your best friend is a polar bear dog. These powerfully loyal animals helped get Team Avatar out of some sticky situations and into some too. <laughs> Unless you want to be Naga's afternoon snack, you better keep talking. They also make for incredible scent trackers. Naga found something! These animals are easily some awesome possums. Fire ferrets are another fan favorite from Avatar Korra's time. You're on, Pabu. These furry, red-colored darlings are pretty smart. They can even do tricks. Stick the landing. Ta-da! Beyond just performing street acts, their situational awareness is also worth appreciating. What? Uh, what? Oh, Habu. It's not playtime right now, okay? We are seriously going to have to have a talk. What the heck? We can't think of a cooler cat than fire ferrets. 
Now, for something that only some people might find cute. Ah! 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 They won't let go! Help! Ah! Stop making so much noise. It's just a purple pentapus. The purple pentapus is harmless, but mostly useless as far as we can tell. Except for the spotted marks they leave from their tentacles. These pentapi helped a whole town of captured Earth Kingdom villagers fake an illness and regain their freedom. I saw some kids yesterday who were sick with pentapox. It must have spread. Pentapox? Hmm, I'm pretty sure I've heard of that. Drive them out of the city. Those things aren't so useless after all. We'll consider the purple pentapus a one-trick pony. <laughs> Tastes like rotten penguin meat. Remind us, what animal makes such awful honey? <laughs> oh, that's right. Buzzard wasps are big, mean, and carnivorous. I'm not losing anyone else out here. These brutal beasts might have potential if you were to sick them on your worst enemies. Because of that, we'll consider them a dark horse. And on the topic of brutal beasts... We'll be safe now. Canyon crawlers look like a nightmarish amalgamation of spiders and alligators. Their ruthlessness lines up too. Their sharp sense of smell makes any food-carrying passerbys a target. And with their ability to climb up walls, good luck escaping. Avatar Aang was actually able to use their size and adaptability to his team's benefit, which is why we'll categorize canyon crawlers as some seriously big fish. There's no nose more powerful than that of the sheer shoe. My sheer shoe can smell a rat a continent away. These creatures can sniff down targets whether they're dead or alive, just not if they're on another spiritual plane. Well, what does that mean? It means your friend's gone. He doesn't exist. The sheer shoe also has a tongue that can temporarily paralyze you. This should neutralize the sheer shoe toxins. The toxins will wear off in about an hour, but by then he'll be in jail and I'll have my money. For the bounty hunter on a mission, the sheer shoe is no doubt an awesome possum. And finally, that's where I met them. Badger moles are a massive, powerful species. They're blind, but they see the world through earthbending. For them, it wasn't just about fighting. It was their way of interacting with the world. In fact, these animals are regarded as the original earthbenders. Not only do they have power, but they have personality. Hey, those things are music lovers. Badger moles digging holes under Republic City. They can be convinced to work alongside humans. So, given their intelligence, power, and history, these magnificent animals are clearly among the Safari Supreme. Oh, badger moles, I love ya. I love ya. I wanna, I wanna pet your snouts. What other animals would you like us to rank? Which are your favorites? Comment below and be sure to like and subscribe for all things Avatar. I have a way with animals. Yuck, yuck, yuck.